they have always marched to the beat of their own drum. Their lives are not significantly affected by how others shift around them. A Sigma man is his own man. We've heard about the Alpha male. He is brash and loud, and is obviously the boss of the pack. Then, there is the Beta, capable but willing to take the sidelines. So, who is this Sigma guy? Shalom, my people. I am Sigma Male Wolf, and this is Who's Out of Order. No one who's out of order. What I do is I react to news stories. Then I tell you who I think is out of order. It could be one person, could be two, three, four, or maybe more, or it could be none. But it's my opinion, and that's the bottom line. All right, let's get into this story. Shankara Mishara is accused of giving a passenger a golden shower a golden shower which means he pissed on a passenger now part of me wants to laugh the other part of me says this is fucked up and you need your ass beat when you uh piss on somebody piss on somebody let me, let me tell you something piss on somebody shit on somebody spit on somebody you getting fucked up but let's get to it back in november shankara mishara the vice president of wells fargo india chapter reportedly took antics a bit too far during a flight the mumbai i don't know if i'm saying that right either mumbai resident is specifically accused of urinating on a fellow airline passenger who was described as being a what 70 her, her being 70 years old while in, while he's intoxicated okay he needs his ass beat. he needs his ass whooped. that's somebody's grandmama maybe great grandmama mama something hey hey i don't I, Ain't nothing a 70 year old woman can do to me to make me piss on her. That's just crazy. <sighs> According to Business Today, the incident resulted in Shankar being banned from flying Air India for merely 30 days. Only 30 days. However, a spokesperson for the airline noted it found, it found guilty action will be taken against the unruly passenger as per regulatory guidelines <sighs> i mean you piss on somebody man that should be automatic just never 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 take a flight again on any airline i don't care where you need to go you need to take a bus uh, a camel a donkey a horse a car whatever you gotta take man i wouldn't let him on a plane ever again man in spite of this many were pleased and proceeded to blast shankar and air india online people also were confused about why shankar hasn't been arrested I, he hasn't wait a minute you piss on somebody and you're not arrested through the case has uh recently been opened on the matter according to reports wow wow wow, wow. let's see this is twitter this twitter user saying uh those who should lose their jobs shankar mishara the pilot who refused the victim another seat you don't even whoa was it all right was the plane full if the plane was not full then i would say that you would have to move her to another seat you gonna make her sit and piss you gonna make her sit and piss for the rest of the flight you should have had them switch seats have him sit in his own piss what's going on the crew who didn't speak up so the crew didn't even say anything and the co-passengers who did not speak up now nah, some of the co-passengers passengers i might understand that because they don't they don't want to get pissed on themselves and they don't need that golden shower they don't want it 
All right, let's see. Ah. Oh, what Okay. Why has Delhi police failed to arrest this person? As Delhi, I don't know if I'm saying it right. Uh, commission for a woman chair, chairperson. All right, let's watch the video. Let's, let's see what they talk about. I can't believe that something like this has happened. And it is very, very, very shocking that hardly any action has taken place. Why has Delhi police failed to arrest this person? Why has DGCA not put a no flyer uh, uh, a ban on this uh, particular person? And why has the airline only banned him for 30 days? It is completely shocking. Saying. And the action that has been taken just reflects the misogyny of the system as well as this completely complete lack of empathy for the victim so we've issued a notice to the oh she made sure she threw the misogyny in there uh, i don't know what happened i can i i'm not gonna count on count uh i'm not gonna comment on it i'm not gonna say it was misogynist i'm not gonna say what it was because i don't know but i know one thing i do know is there's zero reason to piss on a 70 year old woman what could this 70 year old woman do to you to make you piss on her? She must have really pissed you off. <laughs> oh, shoot. Uh <laughs> To DGCA, we've issued a notice to Delhi Police as well as to Air India because I firstly want to understand why is this person not being arrested? What is the reason for the delay? I also want yeah. to understand why is it that Air India has delayed reporting this particular case to the Delhi Police and also why action is only taken when there is an uproar. Another thing that I want right. to understand is from DGCA as to what kind of guidelines do they have? Have they not circulated any guidelines to the airline? to ensure that uh, if suppose a sexual harassment case happens or if suppose a misconduct happens where a man ill treats a woman or vice versa what kind of an action is uh, taken by the airlines how is it that this man is allowed to do an act which is so pathetic and able to get away from the airline yeah. and then everybody falls quiet for a month or two and then suddenly uh, action is taken why is it that that the airlines did not catch this person and immediately when the flight had landed hand him over to the airport uh, police so there are too many questions that need to be answered we've issued notices because a i want action in this case and b i want some guidelines to be there how can it be i want some action in this case too i want some action i want some action man because uh i I just don't see any reason to piss on a 70 year old woman. No matter how pissed off you get, you don't piss on a 70 year old woman. Matter of fact, you don't piss on anybody. You don't, why piss on anybody? Ah. Be that a sexual harassment case just gets away so easily because you see he has flashed his private part exactly. and then uh, urinated on that woman. What? She was a seventy-year-old woman. What kind of people are there and how drunk can they get? It's really yeah. unfortunate. That's drunk as hell. That's drunk as hell. That's what it is, lady. It's drunk as hell. He probably don't. He probably don't even remember pissing on the woman. He probably was drunk as hell. Action has to be taken and I must say that whatever has been done by the police as well as the airlines as well as the DGCA is really less. <laughs> All right, let's, let's see. Chinkara Mishara attorneys say the situation was handled privately. Privately? Okay, well, I, I, in response to the public outrage of course i mean there's got to be outrage you, you pissed on a 70 year old woman shakar's legal team came out and provided messages to try to show that the woman in question agreed to not re to not report the incident in exchange for 
fifteen thousand rubies i don't know how much that is in dollars but i don't think that's enough to be pissed on through she re returned the funds so she returned the funds so i guess she got the funds she agreed and then probably thought about it and said you know what i may have a case here he works for wells fargo uh let me send this money back and let me see if i can get 150,000 rubies or something i don't know uh the lawyer also argued that the woman condoned to be urinated on the what the press uh, trust of india reports huh i don't know if i believe that i don't know if the 70 year old woman pissed off i, I don't know I, 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 are there any 70 year old women out there that want to be pissed on say something in the comment section i doubt it notably attorney and shai sharma i don't know if i said that right went as far as to say that the elderly woman returning the payoff was an afterthought additionally she shared that no eyewitnesses can corroborate the story all right so nobody even seen it what, the, what video is this that's the statement the statement that you've received yeah. is pretty much the statement that we want to give out see when somebody gives you some money you say no no we don't need it right we don't need it we don't require it this is not what we are aiming for it was never said oh okay so what are they saying what are they saying they're saying that um they just sent the money to her i guess i don't know but that's what she received yeah it's pretty much the statement that we want to give out see when somebody gives you some money you say no no we don't need it right we don't need it we don't require it this is not what we are aiming for was never said mm -hmm. suddenly in an afterthought the money was given back okay so you're calling it an afterthought oh this is his uh, attorney uh, have you seen the whatsapp chats yeah yeah i did see this the right but this will come to four okay there's nobody yet who's up to four there's nobody saying that this is this has happened the way it has happened <laughs> so um and 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 also also if there is a man in between just just like normal general knowledge if there is a common sense if there's a man in between how is it that the woman is drenched and that man wait a minute there was a man sitting in between them <laughs> okay this story sound sound crazy though there's a there was a man sitting in between them like normal general knowledge if there is a common sense if there's a man in between how is it that the woman is drenched and that man is just tapping on the shoulder and saying that okay you go back to your seat he is not the person who's drenched if a man is standing in the aisle and being from the police sources that you're going to move anticipatory bail is that right am i no am that I? is what i'm asking you are you going to you, are you planning to do get to know it. Is he playing or what? All right, a shocking defense from the lawyer of Mr. Mishra Akanksha. You were in conversation with the lawyer, and most shockingly, she goes on to explain as to how the complainant in this case, the victim, did not deny the amount or return it right away. It was an afterthought that her daughter came out with that kind of an anger, having returned the fifteen thousand rupees paid by him earlier. I don't know. You can't pay me fifteen thousand rupees to piss on me. I don't care. I, you know, I don't think there's any amount of money that you piss on me for. I, 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 I got to get in your ass, Paul, oh, for real, man. All right, well, I'm, I'm done listening. To them. Let's see. Wells Fargo steps in with a statement. With all the madness surrounding this case, it looks like Wells Fargo decided to cut its losses and let Shankar go according to a brief statement that circulated on social media wells fargo and company is issuing a, this statement regarding a november 2022 incident aboard a new york dahar I, I don't know if i'm saying that right man um, dahar india flight wells fargo holds 
employees to the highest standards of professional and personal behavior and we find these allegations deeply disturbing this individual has been terminated from wells fargo we are cooperating with the law enforcement and ask that any additional inquiry be directed to them all right so wells fargo is like hey we wiping our hands of this dude uh, even though it's an allegation we don't want this to be a part of our bank or nothing hmm. okay that's just showing that he was uh, all right what's the last thing it says oh what do you think about the overall situation yeah my people what do you think about the overall situation now here's the thing we don't know how how true this story is um but if it is true and he pissed on a 70 year old woman i believe that you know things should happen to him now i don't push for people going to jail or prison or nothing like that. but i do push for a good ass whooping if you piss on a 70 year old woman i do think that he needs that I think he is out of order if this story is true because it makes no sense. Now, if the story is not true, I think she is out of order. And I don't even care about the 15,000 rubies. She might have really needed that money. I don't know. Some people, some people take getting pissed on, but not me. I'm not going for nobody pissing on. And if you try to piss on me, if you whip it out, I'm going to beat your ass period point blank i know a 70 year old woman probably couldn't whoop the dude but i'm sure she got some nephews some grandchildren some people in the neighborhood that would love to get a hold of that dude and piss on him this is a crazy story uh i hope all the people involved are Except for the dude that pissed on her. I hope this lady is is all right. Because that's that is crazy to me. I'm almost speechless. And, you know, pissing on somebody. I, like I said, pissing on somebody, shitting on somebody, and spitting on somebody. I'd rather be smacked. I'd rather you cock back and punch me dead in the nose than to be pissed on. I'd rather you pick me up, body slam me, than put feet on me. Just stomp me out. I'd rather that than to be pissed on. All right, I'm done with this, man. So, if you like the video, hit the like button. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That way, every time a video comes out, you get notified. And don't forget to comment. Leave me some feedback. So with that, I'm going to say peace and be one.